today I'm going to close this door for the very last time. Okay, so this is probably seeming really random. After the single biggest move of my life, leaving my family home and setting to move out, being alone for the very first time in my life, and it's over. Really? It may have seemed too good to be true to some people, and maybe to some they thought I couldn't handle it, but to be honest, I could write a book on the challenges and the loved parts of my experience of living alone. I'm gonna save that for another time, and also the reasons as to why I am moving. The last year and a half has definitely been the most growth I've ever experienced in my entire life, the, like the most intense growth. And I think living alone was a, a huge part of that. I think a lot of the growth wouldn't have happened unless I was completely alone. I'm really happy that I get to share this part of my journey with you guys because you guys have seen some of the most heartbreaking, um, big, scary, points of my journey so far I don't post on this channel that much but I've posted a lot of my like main life changes I guess and it's kind of crazy to think that just another one of my life changes is being documented and I really hope that you guys can use it this is just weird it's weird to be packing up this place to be completely honest with you, this did not catch me by surprise. I decided a long time ago that it was time to leave this apartment, so I was kind of mentally prepared, or so I thought I was. I'm like, have no regrets, but I still feel sad. Of course you're gonna feel sad. Yeah. It was suddenly time to pack my life back up into boxes, and it was just a lot. I got that oh. <laughs> everything to pack makeup is the most stressful so weird to like see your belongings in boxes like it really makes you realize in a weird way like how much stuff you accumulate it's so weird packing everything up it's just like such a weird feeling said where I'm moving. I am moving back home with my family and that is a choice that I think a lot of people, it's gonna be mixed, I'm gonna get mixed responses. Some people are gonna think that I had to do it, I definitely didn't have to do it. It was a choice, like I just, I really decided that it was the best thing for me. I feel that it's what God wants me to do and it's only gonna be temporary. Um, I don't know for how long. Thankfully in a place where I can move back, so I've decided to do that. I'm really excited as well because I've got a lot of space to work with this time uh, but it means I'm gonna have the space similar to what I had here less but like similar that's actually mine which is good so yeah it's just it's gonna be really cool and I'm really excited and I just feel like this is so right and I will talk about the reasons why in my next video don't worry I will not leave you hanging but this video is more so about moving and all the emotions and the feels that come with it continue with the packing process because there's a lot to do This is like weirdly pleasing to the eye. Look how specific <laughs> my blue tech placement was. It's funny, it is gonna take a while to take this off.
much clear now. We're just cleaning today and just making sure that it's ready for the people to move in next after me. I, it sounds so echoey in here. It's really weird. It feels so weird packing up this place because it took me quite a long time to feel at home and to kind of like pack away all the things that made it feel like home. All of the things that I transformed each room and all of that. It's just so weird to have it all packed away, all in boxes. Today I'm going to close this door for the very last time. And I think anyone that's moved out of somewhere and never gone back, I think you relate to that weird feeling that it is because obviously when I left my mom's house, I knew I'd be walking back in again. But when I close the door to this place, I'm basically closing the door, handing over the keys and actually never stepping foot back into this place. I think it has so much significance to me in this time of my life. I really feel like I'm in a point where I'm moving forward and I'm leaving so much behind. And I went through so many ups and downs here. I can't even begin to explain and I feel like it wouldn't have been that way if I wasn't living alone. And I am so glad that I had this experience, even though some of those experiences were the hardest experiences I've ever had to go through and just emotionally deal with. I can't believe it's the end of my time here. I can't believe that my little apartment isn't mine anymore. And the last like year and a half has been such a wild crazy ride there are a lot of things that i experienced in that time of my life that i have to say goodbye to and i really have to start this new chapter I, like the person that moved in i'm just not the same anymore like i really have changed and grown so much since being here i really think i'll look back on this time of my life and really realize that i was honestly truly finding myself and I just wouldn't have traded that for the world regardless of how lonely it felt at times. I loved being alone but there were moments where it was really hard and it's crazy to say goodbye to that time because I am moving back in with my family and that's a, it's a big choice. Definitely going to be a temporary choice and like I've said I'll explain more in detail my reasonings for leaving and just everything. It's not like forgetting everything that I went through here but it's kind of a really massive metaphor. I experienced everything I experienced here and I captured loads of stuff here and I had all my memories in the last year and a bit to half in this apartment and it's like, I'm not forgetting it, but I'm moving forward from it. And I'm closing the door and I'm locking it and I don't hold the keys anymore. Not being able to come back here is crazy. I think that's more of the bit that makes me emotional is that I'm saying goodbye to all of like the pain that I felt whilst being here. I'm saying goodbye to a lot of memories that I made here. But I know so well that it's the right thing and that I know God's leading me to the next season and that it can't be done here if I stayed. And if I didn't move forward, then I would just be prolonging what needs to happen. Staying here would be an injustice to, to growing because I feel like I've done all the growing I can do in not only this apartment, but the person I was in this apartment and all of the all of the downfalls and the disappointments and the things that didn't go right. It's like locking that in and being like, you know what, it's a new beginning now. And although I'm going back to my family home and I'm not going to a new place yet, it's so reassuring to know that I can walk all of that away. I'm grateful that I get to share all of these milestones in my life with you guys because I know that just more and more good things are going to come and it's just amazing to capture it. And you know God's voice, you know when you know <laughs> that you are where he wants you to be and I know that leaving here is where he wants me to be. I did all I could do here and I was really scared that I was going to regret leaving. I was really scared that um, today would be a lot harder. Hi. <laughs> Does it feel like long ago since we moved, since like I moved in? I was going to say we moved in. But it, does, it feels less than a year. It just feels... Yeah, but it was more, way more than a year. I know, it just feels not long ago. It's weird, like it hit me when you said like you're gonna close the door and you won't open it again. Yeah. She said that last night and it really hit me and I had like an epiphany and I was like, oh yeah. Guys, we are literally 
done pretty much it is time to say goodbye to my apartment